Yeah, I'd love to have Sandra. Okay, uh, Sandra B is online. Okay, Sandra. Hello, Sandra. Let me uh, just write here an open invitation to Stuart Swartz. Yeah, I'd love uh, to. That's a big loop around there, uh, so. Yeah, hi there. Sandra DeRoy, are you available? Turn down your speaker. Somebody got a lot of high run. Yeah, you need to turn. Hi, Sandra. You need to turn off your. Uh, not stop listening to the show because you're now on it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Very good. So, Sandra, do you want to make a statement? You you knew uh, you knew Max Spears uh, fairly well. I understand. Uh, well, it was, it was recent, uh, I sort of like recently was in contact with him, um, but, uh, the last time when I was in contact with him was on the 29th of June, and up till then, uh, yeah, I, I was frequently in touch, because, uh, he was going to, um, and be part of the movie that I'm working on now. So, and then, and then we just uh, sort of got close, and, and we were talking about a lot of things. And uh, and and I, I just, you know, in a sense, yeah, I I was uh, wondering about the medical thing, and as well that 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 he said that there were some people he was not in touch with. For example, uh, Sarah, uh, that he had uh, blocked her uh, for for a long time, at least a month. So it's just uh, you know making sure that, that the information that you receive is correct. But I can't confirm anything after the 29th. And uh, he even sent me a picture of him and, and Swarlow that evening, and he said that he, he had um, that that the, I, I'm trying to even find that conversation because it was typed. It was it, it's a little bit confusing for me. I need to go back to him, scan it closely. Because there were other conversations after that, but uh, yeah, he said that that he was receiving great information that night. That they were sitting all night and talking, and he was very excited about that. And uh, and then uh, prior, unfortunately, uh, he, he he before we stopped con uh, being in touch, uh, it's it just you know just silly things, and then things were blown out of proportion. But he. He did say that he thought, saw a very strange dream of, of a, a woman uh, with long, dark hair uh, sitting in front of him. It was like sort of lucid dreaming. And, and he need to confirm where you're getting the info from because he wasn't in touch with everyone that, that you you keep naming so that's all sorry no that's great uh you know we want to get as accurate information as possible uh and and the people that knew, knew him or were close to him are certainly uh you know uh going to be in a position to make statements as to what they remember uh you know you can appreciate uh this sort of thing went on as well with certainly the death of Prince, the death of, uh, of Robin Williams, uh, you know, the chronology and the people that know, you know, and were in touch with the person in the last few months, uh, certainly before they die is are always, uh, important parties to being able to testify as to the state of mind, you know, as to, yes, he was very happy. I was going to go in the, 
see him actually in Poland. He said that he has sobered up and cleaned up, and I it sort of gave him advice how to how to clean up because I've cleaned up my, myself uh, through allergic uh, reactions. I told him, for example, not to drink vodka that he might be allergic to wheat because you know he might be going crazy after that. That to just stick to soft you know lighter drinks and he was like no 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 i'm even quitting smoking it's just unbelievable here you need to come and see it and and you know i'm not saying i'm perfect but you know i was obviously manipulated for some reason on the 29th of june so i stopped uh, communicating with him but up till then it was very intense yeah okay so. and uh, again uh this your name is sandra how do you say your last name sandra uh, Sandra uh, DeRoy. DeRoy, okay. Uh, and you were you were shooting a documentary with with Max, is that right? No, actually, I was uh, working on a personal project, and I wanted Max to play one role there, and he agreed to it. So he was going to come down here for the sixteenth, ironically. Ah. <laughs> and uh, and then uh, we sort of uh, there you go. So I uh, stopped that and okay. I, uh, well, uh, I thought it would be better because I I felt like I wasn't you know I did meet him recently you know it was just two uh, you know just a couple of months but uh, you know there you go right okay uh did you have anything else you wanted to add uh that you might know about this situation are you in touch with any of the people close to him at this time or anything uh, other than miles uh no no uh, the reason why i wanted to phone in that it really bothered me that that he was saying that he was getting information from you know whatever sarah but he he was i you know that's i wanted to just give you a little warning or whatever uh, sort of okay, so you're saying yeah. he had not been in touch recently, to your knowledge, with, with Sarah. Is that correct? Yes, because that's one of the things that you know. I um, I I was like, you know, <laughs> um, he he kept saying that it's not good for his health, so he sort of eliminated some aspects and people from his life just to clean up his act, yeah, and just focus on other things and. Uh, and uh, it's just since you're investigating, I think that yeah, you need to know uh, where where the info's coming from. And um, I, I've never met Monica before. He he didn't mention her. Uh, he said that you know he was out there and then it, it, you know whatever. And uh, that that's it pretty much. Uh, he he was a very uh, enthusiastic. He has. He always our conversations were uh, based on infinite infinite information he would never stop this man uh, he uh, he had so much information and uh, actually I'm scanning through the notes here as well because half of them are tight which is which is good and uh, I'm happy to share them with you Okay. Uh, well, I, I, I do urge you to keep them private for now. And certainly if you want to try off the record, as they say, sh share them with me, that, that, that's your, your prerogative. But, um, you know, uh, I think at the moment, maybe, uh, we have to hear from certainly the family, uh, the mother and see where, uh, things are at in, from her point of view. Um, I think she would have the final say on what's going on in terms of what gets kind of shared with media and the public. That's usually how it goes. Although certainly any of us who have direct, you know, interaction with him are, have our right to share what we know. And that's. Well, uh, Carrie, uh, just to make that up. Thank you very clear. much guys. I'm going to jump off them. I think that. Thank um, you. Thank you very much, Sandra. Thank you. Maya. Uh, the, to make it clear, I asked uh, his mother this morning exactly what she wanted said and what she didn't want said, and uh, she hasn't got back to me on that yet. Okay, I understand. Uh, well, I mean, you know, you can't muzzle the truth, and it, you know, there will be an investigation. Uh, I assume even beyond our uh, initial sort of questions here. Hopefully, someone will well, explain how. 
how something could be an accident. Uh, you know, how does this turn turn into an accident? Well, that's the question which is going to have to be answered by somebody, uh, asked by somebody uh, of a legal standing, which is, um, I don't think, we can't get that information. So anything that we say in that is just pure speculation. Right. Okay. Unless, Fair enough. All I can wish is to do, uh, give a statement. And uh, I would probably imagine she's not going to give any statement to anybody until um, uh, her lawyers or whatever else say what she can and can't say. I mean, I... I, I'm, I'm just only speculating about what you can not speculate about. If you see what I mean. Absolutely. Well, uh, for the listeners, let me just say this, that there is plenty of information on the web, uh, many direct interviews with Max Spears that you can watch on YouTube. Just put his name into the search. Educate yourself. Uh, I would hope that the people in the chat wouldn't just reach uh, random conclusions based on nothing about this individual. Uh, and, and so we're doing our best to drill down and to get some, some well, hard I, facts. I just want to say, uh, I was not at any time saying that Sarah had been in contact with Max in the last two months. Sarah and Max separated. I asked Sarah last night if she had the phone number for his mother, because when I interviewed Sarah and Max, in Broadstairs, uh, there was a local number to contact his, his mother on. And I was hoping that by contacting Sarah, she would be able to give me that number, because that's what I was asked to do last night. I was asked by Monica and uh, Madeline, could you please somehow find a contact number for Max's mother? And that is why I went online with a, with a broad shout out. If anybody knows where Max's mother is or whatever it is, could we get that phone number? And ultimately, that contact was made. Monica was then finally, late Saturday night, able to phone uh, Max's mother, but she could only leave a message. And ultimately, from what I understand, uh, she did not actually find out about her son's death until Sunday morning. At which point, um, I was informed by Monica that she'd be on her way. But I don't know how long on her way is going to be. But as, as I said earlier, so that was the reason why Sarah was contacted. Obviously, Sarah then had to be told why um, I was contacting her. And at that point, Sarah was extremely distraught beyond. Uh, I mean, obviously, if you had a relationship for so long, as far as I know, that relationship effectively finished about two and a half months ago. Whatever communication there was between Max and Sarah is entirely up to them. I don't know when, whenever if anything was maintained or or. That's up to between those two individuals. I can't comment on that. Absolutely. Uh, all right. Well, at this time, I don't see any direct questions coming up in the chat. So we can close this down. I want to thank you so much, Miles, for coming on the show and yeah. sharing what it is you do know and trying to clarify some of the sequence of events uh, as, as it was that you found out that what was happening here. Uh, and this is very recent. So getting the, you know, the hard facts is good right up front uh, before they get obfuscated by uh, press and other people that might have some um, some motivations to try to hide the truth. So.